behind. And an attempt at a run by coming in here, we do get two Zerglings in, but I'm afraid they're not just, they're just simply not going to do enough other than getting a pretty good scout to see that uh, he's going to have a tough time attacking his base with Eulis. Yeah, I think that was just a, kind of a classic July Zerg move, actually, to run several Zerglings in. Uh, and sacrifice most of them just to get a scout in, uh, scope out the turrets, possibly get an SCV killer too, I think was the idea there. Um, but yeah, he's building up his Mulus here, a force of medic marines moving out. Um, yeah, Yellow just does not have a lot to deal with this right now. He's actually going to move his Mulus out, and I think that's probably better if he can somehow... No, I, never mind, I thought he was going to move him out. But at this point, you'd want your Mutas in the Terran base to try and pull them back, pull them back, you know, right. when they think they're going to move out, attack a turret, attack some SVs, pull those Marines back, and instead, he hasn't gotten there yet, and, and Gogo's even able to move out a second group to meet with this one, and a little bit of a careless little attack there by, by Yarnak. Firebat going up to do uh, some <laughs> <laughs> Firebat forgot he can't attack here. Oh, Aaron. yeah, crap. But uh, Yellow has, has taken several hits from this group and still hasn't killed a Marine, I don't think. There, he finally gets some, does some damage, finally draws blood, but uh, things not looking good. I don't think he's going to be able to, just with these mutilists, hold back. Uh, Gogo wants those two groups meet up. Yeah, you know, we can't see, uh, I always be sure to cover up the progress bar when we're watching these. We see a scan going down there, obviously Gogo preparing for a cat, uh, attack. I would have a feeling we're probably closer to the end of the game here, even though I can't see. I would recommend you guys who are watching right now do the same so you can't see what's going on. We see an attack coming in here, obviously trying to take out the sunken colonies. Uh, Yellow trying to micro his uh, mutilus, actually doing a fairly good job of getting a few marines, but he is going to lose this secondary very, very close here. The mutilus are going down as well. And to be honest, that's not even that large of a medic marine force, and Gogo is going to be able to take out almost most of the secondary. We see another force coming up here from the back, and we see a SCV coming up, possibly to build a bunker, possibly to just shove this in uh, Yellow's face that uh, he's kind of getting owned right now. We do see some mutilists coming out, but no lurkers uh, critically at all in this match. And I think that would have been smart of Yellow to go for some lurkers early on when he saw the medic marine build coming up. He's going to hold wow. off this attack barely. <laughs> But there's too many reinforcements coming up. I cannot believe he held that. That yeah. is amazing. And he didn't even have to sack drones. He, he sacked a lot of... He didn't um, even move them, barely. They're, yeah, they he, he didn't mining. move his drones. He just kept mining. Um, and I thought when Gogo's... When that last group moved in there, I thought that was going to be enough. Uh, Mutas are just not very good against uh, stim medic marines uh, by themselves. But he just was able to you know, throw enough stuff in there. And that was... I mean, Yarnak... A lot of people think he has, I don't think he has the best, but a lot of people say that he has the best Muta Micro in the game, uh, and uh, he showed definitely some really good Micro there, and I, I think most of the Zergs probably would have died. Um, even though I don't have too much respect for Yellow at this point, um, he, he, he does, he does have a pretty decent game. I would put him at kind of a, just below the S class, personally, and now he's got Lurkers out to defend, and Gogo, -Go, I haven't seen a Vessel out of him. He probably got him, uh, uh, at least a Starport down in the background by now. Um, but, um, wow, so Yellow may have caught himself back in his game, but importantly, still two base versus two base. Right. And that is not a good situation for the long term for Yellow. He needs to get an expansion down quickly and somehow defend it, otherwise in the long term he's still not going to win. And there's a science vessel there, so you can see that there are definitely some science vessels on the way. You can see the starport working there as well. And uh, finding a lot of pretty huge gaps here. Yellow is able to do a lot of damage um, before he can get harassed, and Gogo can pull back his marine force. I felt like I was watching that attack in slow motion. Like, it was really weird. Like, it just didn't look like Gogo was really microing too well, and it was just really strange. Obviously, Yellow doing a pretty good job here at getting a lot of SCVs out now. This is obviously late in the game, but at this point, I think that Zerg definitely has a chance, if he wants, to get himself back in. Obviously, he's going to have to micro really, really well. He's going to have to find a way to bring the lurkers up and do some damage with those. Um, he's not going to be able to do any sort of drop play or anything in the back. Not going to not going to go July on him or anything like that. I don't know why we have so many July references in this. But he's, mor he's morphing a ton of lurkers right now, and if he can go in with a lurker force combination with Mutilus, I don't think we've seen any of the filers out yet. Um, I haven't seen the Hive either, they haven't shown the main base yet. But the Science Vessel is out, which is going to just totally pwn these Mutilus at this point. And uh, I think that obviously Gogo is still strong, as you mentioned. It's still two versus two right now. I don't see any sort of expansion going up for Yellow. Yellow is just trying to power through with two base lurkers. Um, and uh, I don't think he's going to be able to pull it off, and we're going to see if he almost snipes a science vessel there. And I need to get some water here. Go ahead and take it <laughs> from here.
Almost. One one of the... Oh, oh nice irradiate. No! He's, not, he's not separating them. Oh, I don't know if he realized that they were radiated for a second because they're on the move. That sucks. A single scourge hit that vessel, but the la the second one uh, got got picked off by the Marines. And here, uh, Yarnak desperately, desperately trying to pick off those tanks en route. And he's actually gone around the other side with lurkers to prevent reinforcements from, from uh, breaking out. Although I think... All it's going to take is siege mode. He's got another vessel and a tank at his door to easily break those that lurker contained. There's the hive morphing now. Um, and this point, yeah, I mean, Yarnak, this is the point in a standard TVZ where the Zerg just tries to hold out and hold out and hold out and hold out until they get the filers out. And he's not going to have them in time, I don't think, because Gogo's force is almost there and he doesn't even have a hive yet. Right, he needs to build the hive, then he needs to build the filers then, and then he needs to upgrade consume, and he does have a long path, obviously. Oh! Wow, that was some beast micro there from Gogo. -Go. Wow, he was able to micro that science vessel while microing the science vessel, able to irradiate the uh, Mutilus. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Now shelling the gas on the expansion for Yellow, and two science vessels out now. you got to think at this point, I mean, Yellow is just going to make probably some last-ditch effort attack here. He looks like he's moving a force around the uh, top portion of the map there, and wow, losing the gas very, very quickly. Um, obviously, the Sunkins are now not going to do anything, and Yellow slipping by a drone. I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, actually. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to make an expansion at the bottom right, maybe? Uh, obviously, if he were to make an expansion, there would be a ninja expansion, and I doubt Gogo would detect it. But wow, Gogo just blasting through the lurkers there. Um, being able, uh, uh, Yellow couldn't even take out the tanks on the ridge. There's still one tank left with full health, and uh, the vice is slowly closing here on Yellow. Yeah, at this point, he's got the defiler den down a lot faster than I expected. Oh, nice drop wow. in the back. It's gonna finish off some tech. And I don't think Yarnak has... There's GG coming from Yellow. Done. Did not have the forces to Woo. deal with that force out front and uh, in back. So nicely done uh, by Gogo. -Go. And uh, really, I think in the long run, it came down to, you know, kind of that early game, uh, right. you know, breaking that sunken line and, and then killing off several drones. And Yellow was just playing catch-up, as he said, the whole time. Never had enough economy to even try and get an expansion, and it just, uh, just a matter of time, I think. Yeah, those six drones from that attack were enough. Even though Gogo, -Go, I felt like he probably could have taken it, maybe if he had microed well enough. Uh, he obviously didn't need to micro well because he's Terran. And he can just, well, you need a Michael Wells as a Terran, but I mean, early on, he's able to just sit back, let that, you know, uh, depression over there at the Zerg base set in and just build up his own Terran base, and he took it out. So we are going to go to uh, Game 3, an ace match, if you will, even though this is not the Pro League, and uh, both players looking nervous. We'll see how they do in the next game. A lot on the line. GG. Thanks for watching.